Hey, CCTO. Uh, welcome to another episode of Staying Connected. And this week, uh, what we want to do is just follow up a little bit on last week's Staying Connected, where Marty shared some, uh, some thoughts with you guys about uh, what's coming up in 2021, specifically our churchwide initiative that we're calling A Year with Jesus. Uh, what this is specifically is it's a weekly devotion that we're doing uh, together as a church. Uh, we're asking people to sign up so that we can make sure that we get that information out to people. So the signups uh, link is below in the in the video description or in the email that came out uh, today. So do take a look at that uh, along with some more information there. And one of the things that we want to make sure that we do is that we uh, make the best use of our small groups in terms of how we do this together as a church. You know, for a lot of us, the year 2020 has been a year that has been um, associated with a sense of isolation or loneliness or feeling disconnected or just feeling uh, apart from one another and, and, and in some instances, apart from God. And what we wanted to do as a church is offer an antidote for that. So as 2020, for many of us, has represented a sort of separation, what we want 2021 to be about is a coming together. Not only a coming together between us and our Lord and Savior, but also a coming together of us as a community. And so it's for that reason that we're inviting everyone who considers themselves to be a part of uh, what we do here at CCTO to join us and to participate in these weekly devotions. And as far as small groups go, what we're going to be doing uh, is asking the small group leaders to set aside a portion of one small group meeting a month uh, not the entire group, um, not, not every meeting, just once a month, a small portion of the group, to just listen to reflections that people have on the experience. What is it that you're learning? What is it that God's challenging you with? Uh, how has God comforted you? Uh, how do you see Jesus in a way perhaps that you haven't before? Uh, Jesus spent a lot of time with his disciples, and one of the things that we see with them is that Jesus uh, spends almost an equal amount of time challenging them as he does comforting them. And so in 2020, as we come before Jesus through uh, engaging these devotions, through a conversation with one another about what it's like to spend a year with Jesus, uh, we want to make space and, and, and time for God to challenge us and to comfort us. So we know that, the, that small groups over this past year have proven to be a really huge blessing for us and a place where people uh, feel a sense of safety and comfort, that they can work through things and process things and, and kind of uh, hash things out together. And so as we realize that spending a year with Jesus through these devotions is going uh, to not only stir up comfort, but also is going to challenge us, we want to make sure that we are uh, enabling us as a community to participate in this together. So for that reason, your small group leaders are aware of what we're doing here. We've sent some information to them. So if you have more questions, you can ask them. Uh, but we want to make sure that this is something that you guys are available to do in your small groups in the community that you are already a part of. So please do join us in 2021 as we spend a year with Jesus. Be sure to check out the links below for more information and to sign up. And be sure to talk to your small group leader about what this is going to look like for your group. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact Marty at marty at ccto.org and he will have more information for you or we will be able to answer specific questions. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to see you guys very soon and we certainly can't wait to spend a year with Jesus together. Blessings to you guys.